Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. Today we are going to discuss about probability and its distribution. So let's see, what is probability? Probability is the possibility of happening an event. Let's say you are throwing a dice. So what could you get? You can get either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are the possibilities. This is your sample space. Okay. So in that case, you can find out the probability of any of that means getting a 1 or 2 or 3 by dividing that particular number. I mean, let's say 1. 1 is coming one time there, right? So 1 upon total number of sample spaces. How many sample spaces, how many outcomes you have got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6. So 1 upon 6 is the probability of happening an event. Getting a particular number on dice. Okay. So today, what we are going to discuss is how we can relate to binomial distribution with probability. So binomial distribution of probability is that uh, how many times a particular event is repeating and let's say you want to find out the probability of getting ahead. Then other thing which is getting a tail is your failure and getting ahead is your success outcome. Okay. So in that case how you can find out the formula is NCR where N is your total number of um, events then R what is what you want to find out means how many times you are doing it out of total and then P is your success event let's say here it is um, getting ahead raised to power R Q is your failure event and minus R Okay, this is your probability of getting a particular event. Okay, so if you have P and Q, they are always one. Okay, you can find out P by dividing favorable outcomes with total number of outcomes. Okay. And how you can solve NCR? This is combination part. So the formula is N factorial by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So coming to this question, let's. it is based on this. So question is in 256 sets of 12 tosses of a coin. So 12 tosses. Your event is tossing a coin. Okay. So, how many events you can get from it? So, tossing a coin, there are two chances. Either you can get a tail or a head, right? Now, it is asking how many cases one can expect eight heads and four tails. Because there are more number of heads. Let's say our success event is getting a head. So, probability of getting a head will be 1 by 2, right? Because you will get the sample space will be either head or T. Okay, when you toss a coin. So, probability of getting a head is 1 out of 2. Similarly, getting a tail is also 1 by 2. You can do it like 1 minus getting a head or 1 by 2. Okay, now you have P and Q. What is N then? N is total number of tosses, total number of repetitive uh, events you, you are doing. So 12. Now you want to find out 8 heads and 4 tails. So probability of getting 8 heads and 4 tails will be, apply this formula, N is 12, R is if you are taking getting ahead as your successful event, so your R is 8, P is 1 by 2, let me write it here, P is 1 by 2 is to power 8 and Q is your getting, getting a tail, 
1 by 2. So 8 minus, this is 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. So this is the answer which you will get. That how many cases you can expect 8 heads and 4 tails by tossing a coin 12 times. Okay. Now, how can you calculate it? So 12 factorial by 8 factorial. 12 minus 8 is 4 factorial. This is 2 raised to power 8, 2 raised to power 4. So 2 raised to power 12, right? Base same power add. Now, how you can solve it? You know how we solve factorials. I'll take it um, as, a, as in descending order. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8 factorial. Whenever you stop, you have to mark factorial. Then 8 factorial, 4 factorial. 8 is cancelled with 8. And similarly, you can write 4 factorial as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And this is 1 by 2 raised to power 12. And you can solve it. Okay. Now, because you want 256, 256 sets, this is one set. So, for 256 sets, what you need to do? You have to simply multiply it with 256. Okay. This is how you can find out the repetitive even series. Okay, with the help of binomial distribution. I hope you understand this topic. If so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.